Oh, what's for dinner? Tikka masala and using our steamer to make rice. Eating good. And how do you heat up your naan? Oh, yes. Just a little bit nippy here in Florida this morning, at least for us Florida natives. Got a hot tea, gloves, my tube, a uh, thermal layer underneath, jacket, and a water bottle under my butt. Very cold, very cold. Pray for us. So what the hell do you do when the market's three miles away? That's too far to walk, especially coming back with groceries. I'll tell you what you do. You unpack your folding bicycles, and you get your ass into town. Let's go. Let's start our bicycling adventure. Woohoo! Strong like bull. <laughs> If you happen to be from somewhere that has a sewer treatment plant next to it, thank your lucky stars. At least it's not a paper mill. Because oh my gosh, it so bad. I can't even God it. has not unleashed a stench so wrathful as a paper mill. It stinks so bad, the gnats aren't even around here. <laughs> Smells like Pepe Le Pew's butthole. It's very pleasant. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never swung on You'd be sorry when they come out here with the shotguns. Waste you. St. Mary's has one of our very favorite things to tour, and that is a cemetery. Interesting, almost like a little courtyard. Sections. Tomb of the Acadians. And I will say, although I like St. Mary's and they did have a farmer's market, by far. For Carrie and I, the best part of the city are the old homes here along the main street and the cemetery. There's just really no way of making history. So it's one of those things that can't be replicated. It's just not the same uh, when towns try to kind of make houses that are look old timey. Just no substituting the real thing. And these guys have some great examples. So the locals told us if anywhere was going to have uh, fruits and vegetables, this would be it. But it seems like a bad sign when the top thing on there uh, is, is vape. So just a little over three miles away is a Winn-Dixie. I'll tell you, Ooh, you ain't never God. enjoyed a grocery store as much as somebody who hasn't been able to get so much as a banana. Here we are. Okay, here we are all groceried up. Backpack as well. And luckily, when I get 
worn down, they were ding-dongs at the ready. I can get my strength back. I feel the ding-dong vitamins coursing through my veins. Mm. Mm. That was weak and the ding-dong held me up. Mm. A, a delicious hockey puck. Uh, basically the perfect food. Follow the sea turtle road. Follow the sea turtle road. Follow, 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 follow the sea turtle road. Ta da! <laughs> well, we're off from beautiful St. Mary's. What a great place. And I'm so glad that we stopped. Um, true small town hospitality uh, really just the, the nicest people and uh, yeah St. Mary's definitely have it on my list we overstayed our welcome at the six hour uh, town marina nobody said a word um, another boat's waiting so we didn't feel like you know we were taking unfair advantage we didn't come in till afternoon and we left first thing in the morning for us. Um, anyway, great, great place, great people. Everybody was super friendly and warm. Uh, shopping center was three miles away, but it was a good bike ride and uh, considered ourselves well served for it. And we're starting out to Cumberland Island now. Uh, pretty interesting. We actually got to go through the museum yesterday, see some of the history of the island. So because we couldn't ride all the way to the grocery store in one burst, <laughs> we stopped along the way at the uh, Cumberland Island Museum and uh, get a little background on the island before we actually go out and visit it on the boat. So this is from some of the indigenous peoples. They wove nylon weave um, <laughs> webbing, which is amazing because like nylon wasn't even invented until the 1960s. <laughs> So you had to really, you know, give them some deep credit. This is uh, how they carve, they would carve part, they would carve part of a boat, but then they were so good that they didn't even need the rest of the boat. So like just the back of a canoe. Wrong. Men with breeding with horses is wrong. Men. Breeding with manatees, wrong. Men breeding with alligators. Watch out. Uh, apparently there's a huge amount of bestiality on the island, so really want to kind of hold that down. And this ring shows some of the buggies. Apparently Cumberland Island is quite the fashionable place. Yes. Mercury in the Dungeness Rose Garden. Frontier fighters protecting us from the Brits. <sighs> oh, look, they're just right over here. <sighs> oh, it's a colonial marine. Awful close to the British out there, to my friend. Originally, 90, or not originally, originally, obviously, Aboriginal uh, people there. But once they had taken care of those, turned into a big plantation by this Revolutionary War officer. And then at one point, 90% of the island was owned by the Carnegie family. So, um, very, very interesting stuff. We're looking forward to it. Supposedly there's maybe like wild horses and uh, some other cool things to see. So we'll see, but it's, boy, look at it right now with all this wind that we've suffered the last couple of days, it is just glass out here.